What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I got a chance to check out Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. And if Daniel Bryan loses, he is banished from SmackDown. And I must say, the clips that I was able to see, I wasn't able to see the, the entirety of the match, but I was able to see a, a decent part of it because I was trying to uh, watch it today, actually. Um, but I didn't get a chance to just see the full entirety of the match only because I couldn't find the clips and, you know, it was kind of like cut up in places and the website that I usually watch, uh, like Raw or SmackDown, if I want to check out like full, full like matches and stuff like that, they didn't really have it up. So I kind of had to find whatever I could find on YouTube, but I was able to find a, a decent amount of the, the footage that I was trying to see. And I was actually able to check out the, his new intro music, Roman Reigns' new intro music. Uh, they have it up on YouTube. I know some of you guys wanted me to react to it, but I couldn't only because I already know WWE is going to be very strict about that and the video will probably get blocked. But when I did see uh, Roman Reigns' new intro music, I knew then he was winning the match because they gave him new intro music finally. He could break away from the shield stuff and it fits it fits his character it fits like his demeanor this is this to me him getting that new theme music is solidifying that he's going to be champion for a very long time they're not giving nobody new theme music for them to lose the belt so he's gonna be champion for a minute so when i saw that i actually liked it it, it kind of fit his vibe it fit his theme head of the table give you that like uh, i want to say like cinematic larger than life type vibe so i actually like it me personally i actually do like it um from the clips that i was able to see uh on youtube um the match was enjoyable i i enjoyed it uh, i wish i could have watched it in, in its entirety but we was busy busy recording for the main channel but I enjoyed it. It was fantastic. I like the story of Daniel Bryan still showing his technical ability, trying to go for uh, Roman Reigns' arm to disable him. Like, I love that, that dynamic. They have some of the best dynamic in ring. All the matches that have involved Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns, even before Roman Reigns was a heel, has always been great. And... It was it was a good television match, bro. Definitely good main event. Um, I was just enjoying the storytelling of Daniel Bryan doing whatever he can to disable Roman. And I like one part of the match that I did enjoy was the fact that Roman was trying to get the guillotine in, but Daniel Bryan has been working on that particular arm that he was applying the guillotine to, so he wasn't able to fully like apply like he want to wanted to so roman being a smart individual he just switches hands he switches arms and he applies the guillotine causing daniel bryan to pass out and that's how roman reigns wins the match and i love just the psychology of that that roman didn't need jay to help he did it on his own he beat him on his own he made him pass out again. You know what I'm saying? Like he was using, like, okay, I can't use this arm. Let me apply a pressure using this arm, my better arm. I thought that was just great. It shows that's that's how I kind of wanted him to win. I wanted him to just win in the sense of I can beat Daniel with no help. You know what I'm saying? And I can overpower him. I can I can weather his technical technical skills i can weather that storm and that's exactly what he did i thought that was amazing now what really solidified him as a mega heel because he's already beaten him so daniel bryan is no longer gonna be on smackdown roman after winning the match he's going to set up a concerto he's going to make sure daniel bryan is no more i'm loving this cesaro comes out I'm liking this. He comes out for the save. He starts hitting Roman Reigns with these brutal ass uppercuts. I mean, he was putting in work. And Cesaro had a nice little suit on. He's putting in work on Roman Reigns. Just hitting him with nasty uppercuts. Just going ham. 
to save Daniel Bryan. Then out of nowhere, Jay Uso comes in, makes the save. What made this segment so goddamn good is the fact that they tied up Cesaro in the top ropes so he can't get free. Jay is holding, holding Cesaro. Daniel Bryan is helpless. And Roman Reigns hits Daniel Bryan with the concerto to end Daniel Bryan on SmackDown. He is done. That's, uh, bruh. And I'm sure they're going to write him off TV. That, that was it. And I thought that was great, bro. That is how you build such a good fucking heel, bro. This is going to make... Cesaro, the ultimate underdog, he had to watch one of his good friends not only lose, not only get banished from SmackDown, but get destroyed in the process, and there was nothing he could do. I love that, bro. He is, without a doubt, and I know you guys get tired of me talking about it, he is the best thing on, in WWE right now. There is not one single wrestler in WWE that is killing it. He's the best right now. He is the best heel. He is the best character. He is the best champion in WWE right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can say I'm I'm an, I'm all alone. Roman Reigns nuts. Pause. Whatever. I don't give a damn. This was great. I wish I could have seen the full match. I'm going to try to watch it. I tried to watch it on Peacock, but I couldn't even find the full match there. So I just had to find whatever I could on YouTube. But I definitely want to watch the full match in the entirety because this, to me, this Daniel Bryan Roman Reigns feud has been some of the best stuff on SmackDown. And now we're getting something even better with Cesaro getting into the mix. I think this will be the first time in Cesaro's career that he's going to get a very good main event rub because people are going to want Cesaro to overcome Roman Reigns. And this was great, bro. If this was in front of the crowd, the crowd would have been chanting, fuck you, Roman type shit, because this was mega heel heat. This is how you become a fantastic heel. I love it. Roman Reigns is the best thing on WWE television. He's going to hold that championship for a very long time. Nobody's beating him because no one should beat him because no one's even in his league right now, bro. So, I love the fact he got new music. He, it's time for him to get new music. I And obviously, WWE, they're, they're all in with Roman. So, he's going to hold that championship for a very long time. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this Cesaro feud plays out and hopefully hopefully we can get some fantastic matches out of this because i think we will so comment down below let me know if you guys are excited for what's to come with roman and his potential feud with cesaro and if you guys like his new theme music comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support Roll to 40k appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace